This is a great activity to do if you're trying to introduce some engineering concepts into your class. You know, we were very specific in terms of how you create the fan blades, but the efficiency of this wind generator really depends on how quickly this motor can get spinning. You could challenge your students to design the most efficient blades for how to light the LED in a super light wind, or you might challenge them to redesign the base so that this motor can spin into the wind to create the greatest rotation speed instead of being fixed, as I've suggested in the activity. Give them the challenge and see where they can take it. Another teaching tip I'll offer you is that students can get tripped up when the LED doesn't light up. The motor might not be spinning fast enough, or the LED might be in the wrong orientation. One thing you can do is to buy a bi-directional LED. That's an LED that actually has two lights in it. I've attached one to the end here, and I'm just gonna spin this motor with my hands. You can see that in one direction, when I spin it, it lights up green, and in the other direction, it lights up red. That eliminates one variable and reduces the confusion because some light will light up regardless of the way the motor is spinning. Happy engineering.